All right, I'm going to read a few uh, comments in between some very light deadlift sets today. <coughs> Just going to go up to what I can handle comfortably. But I'll read a few comments that I've gotten over the past few months. Just random ones or ones that are kind of in the form of a question. All right, first, first set here. Question from Max Daka. Whatever happened to the 10 year front squat anniversary goal? Yeah, that's what I want to know. I can answer that question. You were fucking lazy, that's why. Truth is, I got weirded out by the whole 10 year thing. Not because, you know, first of all, I got a couple questions about that. And I don't know, it's hard to explain. I always remember a comment I got back in 2013 from Mitchelltown32. A couple of you might know who he is. and It was like April 2013 when I was about ready to turn 44. And I remember he left a comment. It was just a, a normal comment. He said, damn, Tim, you're going to be 44. And that comment always stuck in my head year after year after year. And I knew the 10-year... The 10 year goal would eventually come up and now I'm very close to it, January 25th. And I don't know, it's just something weird about the 10 year thing. You know, I don't know, I'm just a little, like, when I think back, I mean, because that time went by like that. And I think back of 10 years of just being out here, all these workouts, I have like a thousand workouts in this book. 900 and something over 10 years so what uh, it just seems like uh maybe these 10 years i should have been doing something else maybe trying to make myself more financially secure or 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 something you know instead of just being out here alone for the last 10 years just for a couple of prs on on video i don't know i got weirded out by it so i just i just fucking stopped and um, I have no doubt that I would have already been doing 315 on the front squat if I would have kept up with it for the last three months. But I didn't give myself an exact date to do it. I think maybe if I do continue it, you know, it would be good to hit it sometime from now until, I don't know, late spring. You know, sometime in April, if I decide to do that. But you know, another thing about that is I didn't even really want to do it. I was just doing it because of the 10-year thing. So, And that's the wrong reason, you know, to come out here and all, do all this weight training and shit. It's, it, you got to want to do it, you know. If you start doing it for strangers on the Internet or just for some kind of anniversary goal thing, then, you know, I remember going to sleep at night after working out in here and like can't sleep because I'm thinking about what I'm going to do on the next workout. I don't have that excitement anymore for this, you know, so when I'm, when I'm out here now, it's now it's just a, a thing to do just for my well-being and, and not getting old, you know, but, but I'm not saying I won't try for it. I'm still going to do the regular basic shit. So if I get back up there in the front squat, then maybe. All right, question two, uh, just a comment. Needle shopper review Jack Daniels whiskey review Jack Daniels whiskey I don't really drink Jack Daniels although I do have an unopened bottle of Jack Daniels from 1989 <laughs> it's put away maybe one day I'll get it out show it if I was ever open it I definitely would would do it live on video but I just like the craft beers aged in bourbon, and I just bought some Hopsland. Maybe I'll do one of those, but 
depending on what I eat after I go in the house. Here's one from Matt Deckard. Are you ever going to try the 20 rep squat routine again? That's a bad idea. Am I ever going to do the 20 rep squat routine again? Hell no. Not because it was super hard. I only did that because I only did that 20 rep squat routine back in 17, 2017 because I had hernia surgery and I couldn't lift heavy. But the doctor said I could lift weights. So I said, why don't I just do a high rep routine and see if it will increase my one rep max that way. But it did absolutely nothing for my one rep max, that 20 rep squat thing. I lost like 10 pounds on the routine and I followed it to a T all six weeks, every single workout. And I made it to my goal 225 for 20 in the end. And uh, I'll never do that again. I might do 20 rep squats after a workout or something occasionally but doing the full routine it did increase my the only thing it did in my opinion is it increased my uh ability to do 20 rep squats i think the last few workouts with 215 220 210 i was doing that for 20 reps easier than 135 when i started the workout i could i could tell my breathing was a lot more easier towards the end of that six week routine so if that's your goal to be able to crank out high reps and you know did i put size on my legs i don't know i don't think so because i lost weight because i didn't uh eat a bunch of food Okay, here's the uh, last one. Stay strong, people. Uh, this is more of a comment. Uh, you motivated him, which that's hard to believe. You motivated him to do uh, 20 rep squats with his body weight. What you got to say about that? Well, I appreciate you saying that. And um, I've talked to you a few times on YouTube, and I've seen you post a few videos with some uh, high rep squats and. Uh, you know, all the credit goes to you, though. You know, you're the one that decided to want to do it and put in the work. You know, we all get a little motivation, I guess, from somewhere on the Internet. But with this bull crap, you know, but congratulations. I'll check that video out and uh, maybe I'll link it down in the descriptions. But OK, that's it. I'm just doing the deadlifts today. I was going to try front squats. But my knee's got a little bit of a uh, tweak in it, just from uh, underuse. So I did the deadlifts today. I'll be sore from those. So see you next time.